Well, we all saw the media frenzy that surrounded Anthony Davis when his plans to leave New Orleans emerged. He said, the things I do in the community, being a good teammate, playing hard, championships, all that stuff matters the most to me. Between money or legacy, my legacy will win that battle every time. Kevin? Winning a big part of it, David. Thank you. Here are the five for the Clippers. They've got Ivica Zubats, Patrick Beverly out there with Paul George. Then it's Marcus Morris, and it's Leonard in at the three. And for the Lakers, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Davis is out there with JaVale McGee, and it's Rondo in at the one spot. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Beverly. The pass to Leonard. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific find. LeBron against Morris. It's good. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's one following the basket by LeBron James. It's some art. That one doesn't go. And the Lakers going the other way now. And George gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. First quarter of play, one minute play, and that one's good by Davis. That's the thing about AD. He makes you guard him on all three levels, this time from mid-range. Now here's Beverly. Pass to Morris. with the bucket. An efficient score inside. Morris can beat you with a variety of moves. Leonard against James. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on George. Lakers shooting their first foul shots of the night here. Two shots. Free throw good, James. What is there to say about LeBron that hasn't been said? One of the all-time greats who can completely carry a team. And the Clippers making a switch here. Williams has checked in. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Beverly feeling it out a bit. Here's Leonard. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. You know, there's a rhythm to Leonard's game, but also an awareness. Just takes what the defense allows. LeBron kicks to run. Davis, the pass to McGee. Leonard against James. Pass to Davis. Just five to shoot. Good, and the assist goes to James. Davis has got his second bucket. You see the weight that 80s added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. Pass to Leonard. Over LeBron. Leonard, no luck. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Gene. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the Clippers get called for the foul. LeBron's explosiveness right there. If you're not a step early, you're probably going to foul him. And that one misses. And he's good on the second. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Williams against Green. Williams inside. Rebounded by the Lakers. And here is James. Inside, here's McGee. 
Shot up two there. Well, LeBron garners so much defensive attention. That's how he's able to dominate the game as a facilitator. Clippers trail by five. Everly with the ball. He kicks it to Williams. McGee with the clock. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. The Clippers have gone 3 and 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Morris passes to Williams. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Back to Beverly. It's up a three. Trains it from beyond the arc. That's what they expect from Patrick Beverly. Knocking down the spot of Jay. Lakers have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. And a wide open look for Jane. And there's another one for the Lakers. And whatever coach told them coming out of the locker room, they're listening. Five out of five already. From D, Williams. And James pulls it down. Lakers leading by four. Outside, Green. He dishes it to James. But they get it back. McGee finds Davis. Back to McGee. No good on the shot. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Nobody near Williams. And he's good on the three ball. And that's what he's looking for. After three straight misses, finally finds the mark. Rondo passes to McGee. Dish now to James. In the hoop for his third break from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Clippers trail by three. Outside Williams. With the fadeaway. Rebound the Lakers. They come into this game following a tremendous win on Wednesday. And, and really complete control of that game. If you recall, guys, they made sure they didn't have to sweat that one out down the stretch. They did a phenomenal job putting that game out of reach. They really know how to put teams away. And he pumps in the way up off the glass. Williams has got five. Using his athleticism in the paint, Lou beats everyone to the punch. Rondo kicks to LeBron. Back to Rondo. Here's the floater. Can't hit that one. Excellent D there from Williams. Leonard with the ball. Picked up by Davis. And puts them in the lead. And it's six points for Kawhi Leonard. One of the toughest covers in the league. Kawhi's jumper just keeps getting better. Knocked away. Leonard with the steal. And here comes Leonard leading the pass break. Now the pass to Beverly. It's stolen by Green. Here's LeBron. Accurate with the jumper from the elbow. 11 points in the game. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Leonard and the layup's good off the glass. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Rondo dishes to LeBron. Davis in the corner. No good with the triple. Clippers have gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Here's Williams, and again the Clippers good for two. He is so comfortable in this area, something Williams relies on, the mid-range. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. James looking it over. Six on the shot clock. And it's Davis missing. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here uh, to plan their brand of basketball. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for JaVale McGee. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Waiters, he's checked in for Green. And it's Avery Bradley in for Rajon Rondo. 
The Clippers also changing it up. Harold, he's checked in for Zubox. Patterson comes in for Morris. And it's Jackson in for Patrick Beverly. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The first one falls. Here you have the consummate pro. Rare to see Avery Bradley complain or give anything less than 100%. And so Bradley nails both of them. Here's Jackson. Kicks it to Harold. Back to Jackson. Feeds it to Williams. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. And it's nine points for Lou Williams. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. Back to Bradley. Waiters outside. Davis inside. Patterson defending. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Clippers leading by five. Harold outside Leonard outside Williams and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here it's going to be on Avery Bradley hard to keep up with Lou Williams quickness he draws a crazy amount of fouls this is his first chance at the line tonight no good on the free throw absolutely stone cold at the line thus far Second free throw. You look at the trajectory of Williams' career. Second round pick. Started slow, but his game has aged like a fine wine. Now here's Waiters. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Davis wide open. He shoots. It's good from long range. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. it to Leonard. Outside Jackson. It's a floater. The basket is good on the assist from Williams. And the Clippers lead by five. They are just killing them on the interior. From deep. Rebounded by Jackson. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Clippers. To the middle. He's looking for Harrell and finds him. Up high to stop the alley -oop. Good vision, good decision by Reggie. Pushing for a better shot, finds an open man. Bradley passes to Waiters. And Howard has it in the corner. Pass to Waiters. Howard at the elbow. Blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Harold. Leonard dishes to Jackson. Passes to Williams. And another three for the Clippers. Smooth shooting motion from distance. Williams making it look easy. Lakers trail by eight. Bradley kicks to Davis. The pass to Howard. Over Harrell. That's good from Howard on the assist by Davis. He goes to the bounce pass there. Nice rhythm at the end of the play. So it's the Clippers now. 107 left to play here in the first. Pass to Harrell. Clock at six. 
excellent D from Howard. The Lakers shooting has been tremendous early. Their offense looking primed and ready for this match. Shots good by Waiters. Lots of contact, but once he makes up his mind, Waiters is hard to slow down. Makes a lot of tough shots. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Leonard. Basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Anderson against Bradley. Kuzma outside. Here's Davis, and there's another one for the Lakers. Both teams racking up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Jackson looking it over. This one for three. A shot that time, not on target. It's been all about Lou Williams for the L.A. Clippers. He put together quite a quarter. 13 back and is not disappointed in his return. You know, recovering from a devastating injury is never easy, but George's perspective and commitment helped him to overcome it. What an atmosphere in here as we return to the action of the Western Conference Finals. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So the Lakers five right now. Anthony Davis is out there with help. Then there's Avery Brandt. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Wade who's in at the shooting guard. This is where Avery Bradley's most effective, getting his points within the flow of the offense. Jackson passes to George. Trying to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now here's Waiters. Here's Howard. No good from 11 feet. Defense with a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. George finds Harrell. Kuzma against Patterson. George looking over the floor. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now here's Kuzma. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Davis. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump thing. Outside, George. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. George missing again. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here is George following the miss by Anthony Davis. Outside, Williams. with it. Guarded now by Jackson. And he makes that one. And the Lakers lead by three. And gotta be aware of Kuzma. Especially with how he attacks there off the dribble. Here's George. Dwight Howard pulls it in. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Kicks it out to Bradley. Waiter. It's a wide-open look. A three-pointer off the mark. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. And the dunk by Jackson. A rare offensive rebound for Reggie Jackson. But he knows what to do with it once he gets it. And the Lakers call time here. Here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Davis. James comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Green is checked in for Waiters. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Avery Bradley. 
And then for the Clippers, Zubac is checked in for Harold. Marcus Morris comes in for Patrick Patterson. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Williams. Rondo is out there to distribute the ball. He is a master at finding the open man. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Paul George. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Now here's James. 13 points in the game. Now here's George from close range. Green with the rebound. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Lakers lead by three. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Outside, George. Jackson against Rondo. Jackson misses. Lakers leading by three. Fires for three. And LeBron James good for three. LeBron's got 16 points. And they've done a great job knocking down those long-range shots here in the second, shooting just over 40% from downtown. Now, here is George. And that one hits back iron. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they dug this hole. The Lakers have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Good for James. Clippers trail by eight. Here's George. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's on LeBron James. He gets right to the rim, but the defense there to deter. The Clippers have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. One falls for. Both good from the line that time. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Passes it to McGee. And it's a defensive three-second violation. The Lakers have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. One shot. And the free throw, no good. And though he's a physical, tough-minded individual, Danny Green's averaged less than one free throw attempt per game over his career. That's surprising. The pass to Howard. Here's Rondo. That's in for the first pass of the game after three attempts. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. Jackson. Five on the clock. McGee with the clock. Now the Lakers 
Rodgers on the break. James with the ball. And good that time. And it's a 10-point Laker lead. I'll tell you, trying to guard LeBron, it's easy to get frustrated. And it's been that way all night. Pass to Beverly. LeBron against George. And again, no good by the Clippers. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And Green gets it to go. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now here's Jackson. He hands it from downtown. Jackson's got five points now this quarter. You know, a little inconsistent from deep when he first entered the league. Jackson now an emerging three-point threat. Here's James. They get a bet. Howard. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shoot two. one is off and the defensive prowess of Howard is simply phenomenal not only a shot blocking master but his mere presence alone makes shooters incredibly nervous Leonard he's checked in for Jackson that one is no good and guys you have to be able to knock down your free throw struggling with that this quarter good way to let your opponent back in the game now here's Beverly down low here's Morris two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul that's some physical defense against Morris who attacks with one of his many moves and we'll just see what he does here at the line Drops them both. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Marquise, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. James dishes to McGee. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Good from McGee. Both free throws. Good from McGee. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Clippers. Pass to George. Over LeBron. George with the bucket. George has got his second bucket tonight. And the mid-range jumper really right in George's comfort zone. And when he isn't blowing by guys and finishing at the rim, he's knocking that one down with consistency. Now here's LeBron. He's got 20. Here's Howard. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Clippers trail by nine. Here's Beverly. Rebound the Lakers. McGee's got six rebounds here tonight. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the back door. That's where the lead has been built. And that's why they are in control. A competitor in everything he does. LeBron with the strong finish. This is a two Leonard. George against James. And George, here we go. And it's George finishing it off. Oh, that's 
a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. LeBron kicks the run. And the pass to McGee. Lakers working the ball around now. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. That's the result. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Dwight Howard. Clippers with the ball. They trail by nine points. And here's George for three. And another three for the Clippers. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Pass to James. Shoots over Leonard. And James gets it to go on the assist by Rondo. Rondo's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. In for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Pass to McGee. Dishes it to LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. You can't give a steamroller like LeBron that kind of opening. He'll bury you every time. 143 left to play in the first half. And George, here we go. Misses from short range. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. You know, not many people want to step in front of LeBron. Once he gets up a full head of steam, can't say I blame him. Now, here's Zubox. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Three pointer. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to just six points on the bucket from George. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. It's LeBron with the drive. McGee with no one around. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got his third assist on the night. Clippers trail by eight. 52 seconds left in the first half. Green against George. And Kuzma slams it in. And with his size and athletic ability, playing above the rim, not an issue for Kuzma. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's the teardrop. McGee with the block. Out of bounds, Clippers ball as the Clippers keep possession. seconds left here in the second six to shoot and there's the feed to Williams and that one good and part of the reason they're down is that they haven't been as strong in the paint here in the second the Clippers shooting their seventh free throw attempt here Driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. A three from Bradley. And the defense by Lou. Use turn up when necessary, and you need those guys in big games. Heading underway in the second half, here's the five for Jock Rivers. We've got Patrick Beverly. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Morris. And it's Paul George. And it's two bucks in at the front. Davis, he sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Davis has got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Lakers. George with the bounce pass. Leonard finds George. Softly drops in the floater. Kawhi has all the physical gifts. And the one thing I love, he really can pass. The drive by James. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. And 
Lonzo George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. From deep three-point range, and it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's got five rebounds tonight. Over in the corner, Green. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got his fourth assist in this one. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Here's Leonard. That one's not going to go. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Here's Davis. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Davis has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. And coming out of halftime, Coach said they wanted to start fast. Howell's 4 for 4. Everly with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Everly against Davis. Here's Morris. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Morris has got six points. The polished mid-range game of Morris. Some of his best shots come from about that 12 to 20 foot range. LeBron is doubled, and it's Rondo in the corner. Not three off the mark. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. George passes to Morris, and Beverly kicks to Zubas. Back to Beverly. Outside, George. Shot clock at five. Offline with his three. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him two. Beautiful pass. LeBron, fun to watch. Intelligent, outstanding read. Green against George. Leonard inside. And the wide open shot for Morris. Three pointers off the mark. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's the Lakers now. Here's George. Plays it up and banks it in. George has got 21 in the game. And guys, when George gets cooking, you are in for a long night. He's just fantastic at finding different ways to score. Here's Rondo, and the three ball is good. He has five. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by James. Morris, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. The shot's good from the key. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. George passes to Zubac. Kicks it to Leonard. George against James. Over to the wing. Lock at six. Here's Beverly. McGee with the block. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. 17 points for Davis. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been hard. Rondo, good. Rondo known for his quick hands on defense. That time turned it into offense. Clippers trail by 20. George from T3 again that time. This is the guy who had three threes in the first half. Since then, still waiting on number four. Outside, Davis. A three from LeBron. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And you can tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Rondo passes to James. Teardrop shot. That one goes in. LeBron's got 32 points in the game. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. Here's George. Back to Beverly. 
no good that time. And the Lakers take it the other way. Davis dishes to McGee. James with it. Guarded now by Morris. To the paint. Davis. And finished off by Davis. Those are the plays Davis is capable of making. Much more confident and stronger than what he was when he came into this league. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Some changes for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for JaVale McGee. Kyle Kuzma comes in for James. And it's Avery Bradley in for Danny Green. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Harrell, he's checked in for Zubox. Patterson comes in for Morris. Lou Williams is checked in for George. And it's Jackson in for Patrick Beverly. He throw good, Davis. One of the most productive all-around players in the game. AD has already accomplished a lot individually. Next, winning. And the Clippers call time here. And the lack of rim protection. Rondo with the steal. Passes it to Bradley. Now Davis. Patterson defending. Davis kicks to Kuzma. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Patterson, that's good. Patterson is so active and efficient with his movements inside. Lakers leading by 21. Rondo passes to Davis. Back to Rondo. And there's the pass to Davis. Four on the shot clock. Here's Kuzma. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Kuzma's got his third bucket of the night. And proving once again that he has the touch from beyond. Kuzma effective at cashing in there. And Stolen by Kuzma. Rondo against Jackson. Outside, Davis. And Davis throws it down. The fans are loving it right now. AD has been incredible tonight. Ball's not loose. Bradley with the ball. Now guarded by Harold. A 15-footer. And another basket for the Lakers. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Leonard looking over the floor. Leonard draws the double. He kicks to Patterson. Outside, Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Davis. And Davis sends it back. Good job by AD. Not giving up on the play. Tracking the ball, blocking the shot. Appreciate the hustle. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. At the line for your Lakers, Anthony Davis. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And the Lakers making a change here. Waiters has checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Clippers shooting is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. Outside Jackson. To stop the run. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. The strength and body control of Reggie Jackson gives him an edge against physical defense. Potential and one. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. And that one falls for Jackson. You know, he was the 24th pick in 2011. I think it's safe for us to say Jackson's outplayed that draft slot. Jackson against Waiters. Howard got a piece of it. Williams against Waiters. 
Williams can't get it to go. So it's the Lakers now. Here's Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Patrick Patterson. Strong move by AD. You see why he's been averaging seven to eight free throws a game over the past few seasons. He is three for three from the free throw line. And he makes the first. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. Free throws good for Davis. Clippers with the ball. Jackson with it. Ten points for him. Leonard the pass to Williams. Hit the teardrop and he sinks the layup. Williams has got 18 points in the game. I like this choice by Lou, but tried to take it to the rack, but sees he has the easy floater over the top. Here's Waiters, and the Lakers with another miss. The Clippers shooting right around 41% from the field in quarter three. Outside for Jackson. Pass to Harrell. And here's Leonard. He's guarded by Howard. Here's Patterson. And it's off from three-point range. with the stuff. Very shifty. Waiters able to create space off the dribble. Sends it home. Jackson with the bounce pass. Leonard draws the double. Jackson down low. Davis is up. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No question. He got bumped on that shot. The Clippers have been good at the free throw line. This one, 7 of 8. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Free throws good from Jackson. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Waiters outside. Outside Bradley. Six to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And Davis can't get it to go. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. It's stolen by Bradley. Leonard against Kuzma. 119 left in the third quarter. Here's Davis. The Clippers grab the miss. Here's Leonard. He's got 12. Now Harold. And they force the shot clock violation. violation. Great D. And there's a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Tipped away. Waiters on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. Shots good by Waiters. The screen and roll, a 
simple play to run, but when executed properly, as Raiders did, it's a nightmare to defend. One second separate in the shot clock in game play. Kuzma passes to Waiters. Pass to Davis. Kicks to Howard. Just three to shoot. Here's Bradley. They grab their own miss. Enters the league as a... Time is running out for this game to become competitive. Deion Waiters is out there with Bradley. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. Then there's Marquis Morris. And it's Caldwell Pope in it for three spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. A nice shot by Kevin Kelly. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. Bradley dishes to Morris. Caldwell Pope against Patterson. The offensive rebound. Shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Shamit on the wing. Back to Patterson. Green against Caldwell Pope. Green kicks to Jackson. Launches it. Here's Kevin Gillis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to go on Markeith Morris. And he knocks down the first one. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Cook is checked in for the Lakers. The Clippers also changing it up. Paul George, he's checked in for Patterson. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Reggie Jackson. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Passes it to Kuzma. He dishes it to Waiters. On the high post, the Lakers rebound. Fades away. Yes, that goes in. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Clippers shooting here about 46% for the game. Shamit. He can't get that one. Kuzma with the defensive effort. From past the arc. And another three for the Lakers. Late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage. Grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. He got a little fancy with the fadeaway on that one. Lakers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Now here's Waiters. Oh, the trigger. Great tee that time from Green. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Clippers. Here's the pass to George. Shamit with it. Guarded by Kuzma. To the left wing. Here's Kevin Gillett. Offensive rebound. George makes it off the glass. George has got 10 points here in the second half. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Here's Waiters, and there's another one for the Lakers. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Here's George, and George with the stuff. And I just love the aggressiveness from George, just slicing apart the defense with that terrific ability to penetrate. Waiters passes to Cook, and he gets the bucket. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floor. The Clippers have gone 4-7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Pass to Kevin Kelly. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. George, double team. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Shoots from 14. And another basket for the Lakers. As a defender, hard to keep up with KCP in transition. He has excellent get up and go. Pass to Shamit. Two shots. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers. Alex Crusoe comes in for Waiters. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here is Cook. Pass to Caruso. Here's Caldwell Pope. He's covered by Shannon. The pass to Cook. Here's the three. Here's McGee. Green with the rebound. The Clippers should be 57% in this fourth quarter. Shamit. The Clippers get another chance here. Caruso looking for an opening. Morris outside. Caldwell Pope outside. Just four to shoot. Pass to McGee. Shoots over Shim. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Clippers have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Pass to Cook. Uncovered. And he hits the jump shot. Took step four this quarter. Liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. And here is Shamit. George passes to Shamit. Back to George. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. George has got 31. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part. Really just try to battle his team back into it. Morris, left side. From in close. And he can't bank that one in. The Clippers have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. shot. It's good on the putback. Quick off the floor for these offensive rebounds. Green 7-2 wingspan. It helps him snatch them. Here is Cook. Defended by Beverly. And here's Morris for three. Green with the rebound. Green's got his fifth rebound in this one. Beverly with the ball. On the wing, George. Over Caldwell Pope. They get it again. Lakers have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Caruso, the pass to McGee. There's the dish to Cook. A floater. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's good from Cook. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for the Clippers. So he gets them both. Here's George. Passes it to Shamit. Back to George. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Deft touch on the alley-oop. Save that. I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Shamit on the wing. Covered by Morris. And all you got to
got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Never been there. Check mark. The physicality. Check mark. They set the tone for this game early on. Poked away. Here's Caldwell Pope. And it's Shannon with the rebound. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And George gets it to go. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Here's Morris. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Morris has got six points in the quarter. And, and they've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by McGee for the Clippers. Leonard comes in for George. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Hawaii. Reggie Jackson. Outside, Green. Back to Jackson. Stolen by McGee. The pass to Caruso. Here's Morris. Feeds to McGee. Noah with the block. Nice job by Noah. Elevate for that block. Stolen by Noah. Now the Clippers moving it up. Shamit. No good that time. And the Lakers going the other way now. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the quarter. Here is Cook. Guarded by Jackson. Here's McGee. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. All the officials are all over that one. Shooting from Los Angeles, Javel McGee at the line for two. Two shots. The first free throw is good. misses and so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Clipper pass to Leonard three-pointer that's good and it's Jackson with the assist that time and that's 15 points for Kawhi Leonard here is Cook guarded by Jackson lets a floater go offensive rebound and the shot is good somewhat helpless team right now. He's trying to help his team shut the door. They don't want to allow any comeback. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. 144 left in the fourth quarter. Caruso, the pass to Cook. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Outside Leonard. Knocks it loose. The Clippers again turning it over. There's just not much more you can say, guys. It's the end of the line for one team and a hard fought, well deserved trip to the NBA Finals for the Lakers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for LeBron. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the efforts won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please, that's terrible. 
Leonard kicks it to Noah. Back to Leonard. Shot clock at six. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. From deep, McGee with the puck. And they force the shot clock violation. Great deep. And here's the Lakers. They're on a 14-5 run. Here is Cook, guarded by Jackson. And it's Cook missing. Clippers with the ball. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. 